They all said I was crazy. They said that I wouldn't be able to use fire to burn down the dark overlord of the world. Well, they were wrong. This is basically the fire build versus big boy Galerius. At least solo. Maybe there's a phase two. I don't know. And I'm going to be honest. I don't know if there's a trick to this <laughs> or a gimmick um, that I'm bypassing. But this guy is way harder than any other fight in the game. Which makes sense as the final boss. But I mean like like maybe like five times, ten times harder than the next closest thing. Um, but we did end up getting there, at least for this phase. I feel like I got the unicorn ring and they have like these mystery conditions and stuff. I don't know if I missed something because I'm not super engaged in the story. Um, but we are going to, um, I'm going to show you basically what I'm doing here. So basically, as you can see from this guy, uh, if you read his shit, he does a lot of damage or he's just hard to kill. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I've been working on this for a while and I worked all day today, but. Really what we're doing here is we're doing Rage of the Fairies. This is the most important skill right now for what I'm trying to do. Attack a row of enemies with first uh, magic first strike. The start of battle. We have higher initiative than him, so we go first. Um, and then you inflict stun. Very important that he is not immune to stun. And stun works very, very well with fire damage fire damage and poison but he has a pretty high poison resistance if i recall but fire damage plus you can't really stack poison um but fire seems to stack pretty much indefinitely so the idea here is that we are going to stun him before he gets to activate his start of combat effect making him immune to five hits then we are going to just our first round is basically we're going to stack, we're going to burn him five times, right? Burn level one with fire breath, burn level two with fire breath, burn level three um, with the actual fireball, burn level four with a um, nothing here. I don't actually know exactly how this is going to work. I haven't seen the fight yet, but the idea is then we burn him and then we um, fireball him. We can, might, I'm not going to mess with anything. Because God knows I'll never get it back. I'm telling you, I would do something like that dream crown. I swear to God, I would make it from like, I don't know. Like I would change one thing that seemed so inconsequential and it would go from like, hey, you're dealing 600 damage to you're dealing two damage and you're dead. Like what the fuck happened? But then all of our shit is set up to basically stun him, right? Every time he's not stunned, hit him with thunderous strike. Then everyone else, just keep your AP. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, and then stun him. And then basically, he's just going to burn to death um, while he sits there stunned. That's the goal. He is going to do 61 points of damage, but let's go ahead and we'll take a look here. This guy, like, if he wasn't for the fact he's in really, really hard to deal damage to, but on top of being really hard to deal damage to, he deals a lot of damage. On top of dealing a lot of damage, but been hard to deal damage to. He also can't really be damaged by stage effects. And he heals like 900 HP. And he heals like fucking 200 HP after every combat. Then, Which means you have to clear 200 HP to start even dealing him damage. Alright, we fucked up. I don't, I don't remember why. Maybe we, had, maybe we had a counterattack on. Either way, we know it works out. Like... It was hard to min-max this fight as well. Maybe this fight's not hard. Maybe, like, someone's like, Ah, uh, duh, just put Travis with Poison Throw, you idiot. It does 9 billion damage. Like, shut up, bro. All right. I'm trying. So he's incapitated. We are... Looks like we might end up having one of our characters die here. We'll see. Said it only took, like, 60 damage, though, and he has 95 HP. He might not have been full life, though. So he's just burning, 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 right? And so he still has four action points. He did die, which is actually super unfortunate. But see, he's no longer boop, stunned. Just kidding. Yeah, he is. The stun is super important because if you apply burn or apply a debuff to him without stunning him, he will use his passive to remove all the burn stuff. So our goal is just to keep him stunned, and then that's it. 
it feels like a cheesy way to win the fight, but I mean, it fucking works. I don't know how they planned on for me to beat this guy. Like, if I'm being legit. I'm sure there there's, like, something that I missed in the story. But there we go. He just burned to death. We did lose a wyvern, but it's okay. Good job. So, I want you, you to let me know how you did those that fight. Because that seemed... I, I'm not sure if you could... I, I didn't see a way to, like, oh, brute force that fight. It seemed like you had to really, really manipulate the fact that he was not immune to stun. Or you had to, like, drain his PP. But even trying to drain his PP, he has a start a battle effect that makes him immune to, like, stuff. So, it, it's hard. Anyway, no spoilers. We're changing the fight. I will see you guys on the flip-flops. Bye.